I have got the best haul of stuff here to show you guys. I went to the, what was it called? The, the, the invert show yesterday, the one that was in Bedford. And oh my God, it was seriously the best day out that I've had in years. Yeah, I met uh, Leah from Unusual Pets and she, I've chatted to her for ages. It was so great to meet her because I've watched her for months now. So as soon as I walked in there, I walked up one aisle and immediately saw Mark the Spider Guy. Um, I was like, if I don't say hello, I'm going to kick myself afterwards. Um, so I give him a little tap on the arm and I was like, hi, I'm Regan, uh, Cobweb Creep. You comment on a couple of my videos. And he was dead. So I think I did confuse him a little bit at first because my face isn't on my video. So he didn't know who the hell I was. I was just some weird random lady covered in tattoos walking up to him. But he was dead sweet and he asked me if I wanted one of his stickers. So I think I got a couple of his stickers off of him. So that was lovely. I saw uh, Tarantula Rookie as well i didn't have i didn't speak to him because he was busy um and who are <gasps> i saw dave's little beasties and camera lady i see i've seen her in person she's a very beautiful lady and i literally think that dave is the encyclopedia of um all things spider <laughs> So I was completely and utterly fangirling. And um, I eventually worked out the bottle to go over there and say hello. Told him about my um, orphanaceous Filipinas getting out. Um, and oh my God, I know that I was like chatting way too much, but it was because I was nervous. But um, yeah, they let me have a picture with both of them and it was so nice. And I got a picture of Leah as well. And oh my God, it was just, honestly, I like, literally it was the best day ever. I had so much fun. And you know what the best thing was? We uh, we bought uh, two strips of raffle tickets. So we had 10 tickets and we won three prizes because the raffle was so crazy and there were so many prizes being given out. So if you ever go to one of those shows, for God's sake, do the raffle because there's so many that you'll normally win at least something. I'm going to show you what I got, but I did get a couple of mystery boxes and I think the mystery boxes are probably, I'll show you what I've got and then I'll do a separate video to show the individual items in the mystery boxes. But I'm going to get the boring stuff out of the way first because you guys are not really going to be interested in that, but I'm just going to show you anyway. So I got... A very interesting bag of Miklai, just to put in with my substrate. A whole bag of different... They had, um, like, a whole store that was selling, like... I know... I could literally go out and uh, go and find my own sticks. Like, my mum was like, why don't you just go to the woods and go and get your own? Because I can't be bothered. That's why... Do I look like someone who wants to go and forage in woods for sticks? No, thank you. So I bought a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to use them in like my arboreal uh, enclosures uh, to give them like webbing points. I thought it'd be really good for that. So I got some proper big cork bark rounds, full rounds. This one was £6. These ones was dead cheap. This little one was £3.50 and it's got like double holes at end and I usually will cut these up into smaller pieces. Got this little bit which was only £2.50. Also this was just another boring thing. Um, some fruit flies, bigger fruit flies. So raffle prizes. They had spiders, they had bugs, they had substrates, they had uh, enclosures they had decor they had uh what else did they have mystery boxes wow honestly some of this stuff was incredible like i said i won three prizes the first prize that i picked up i can't believe i got this it's a giant katie did look at that they had these there and i almost bought one i think they were said this one's a male 
this thing is amazing and it's not full grown. This thing's going to get enormous. They had one there that was huge. And I, uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I've got to have that. So there's him. So we have a Katie did was one of the prizes. My second prize that I chose, let me grab it, was one of the Tarantula Room sling pot holders with sling pots. How cool is that? These are £15 on their own. So this guy was, these were either 10 or £15 at the show. I know for a fact, because I have bought one from Tarantula Rooms myself, that these cost £15. And then obviously these little sling pots maybe a couple of pounds for that that many because there's 20 25 in there and these are fantastic for keeping your slings all um organized and they stop anything knocking over and it just looks neat up on the shelf so that was my second prize and the third prize now i think that people avoided this because i think maybe they thought it was just a mug no it's not just a mug so I got this prize from so many uk, And this is actually on their website. I've seen them before on their website. It's called their Mug of Teas. I believe that's what it's called. And inside here are three slings. I'm not going to go into it too much because I am going to do a separate video and we'll unbox this properly and rehouse them all. But the value in here was about £30. And I paid £10 for two strips. Do you see how good that is? Like, it's just crazy. I couldn't believe it. I genuinely couldn't believe it. But now we will get on to my actual purchases. So, I bought this for my son. Well, I said it was for my son, but, I mean, realistically, it's probably going to be me that's going to end up looking after it. This is a giant millipede. <laughs> How amazing is that? Oh my God, I saw these guys and I was like, that's incredible. It feels so weird on your hand. How adorable is that? <laughs> 10 pound. Are you kidding me? I saw these on the way in. These are Phidippus Regius Bahamas Spiderlings. These little pots have got plenty of fruit flies in them um, to keep the little guys going. And then there's one just there. And then the other one is right here. So I have wanted Bahamas for so long. Um, obviously they're unsexed. Uh, I've got no idea, you know, um, if they are male or female, or if they'll even be white like the most of the Bahamas ones are, or a lot of the Bahamas ones are. But regardless, I've got two of them now to grow on, and we'll see how they look in a few months' time. Then I got this little guy this is an orchid mantis how beautiful is that so this guy was 15 pound i believe from incredible inverts i got metallic emerald cockroaches now i've seen these i don't even remember who i saw them whose youtube i saw them on but i thought they were amazing and they kind of actually match my nails yeah these were 25 pound i'm not sure how many's in there but look at these i had to get them just because they are so stunning but look how much they kind of match my nails got that duochrome look going on but aren't they beautiful don't know if there's four or five in there Oh, five. There's one on the lid. So, oh my God, I'm literally chuffed to bits of them. So I'm going to get them set up and um, hopefully see if we can breed them on. And now I can get on to showing you the exciting stuff. 
So one of these things was not actually bought at the show as such. I'd actually bought for it previously, but collected it at the show. Can you see what that says? Right there. T Blondie female. And it came all in an enclosure with a lovely water bowl in here. This is the enclosure. Really, really nice enclosure. And I'm trying to show you, but she is in there. And she's big already. Like she's a really, really good size. She's absolutely beautiful. And to come with the enclosure as well, so good and confirmed female like amazing then i got from creatures from the north i got this mystery box support my petrol 100 pound mystery box um i'm going to do a separate videos for these because they deserve their own but just a little quick look nine nine spiders that's pretty good then I also bought the advanced £20 box because I haven't really delved into many of the like more advanced species yet. So I wanted to see, you know, what we get in there. And I will say this also has got three in that were pre-orders. Right, so these three, again, this was not necessarily bought from the show but i ordered these with rad um the guy who owns the company uh beforehand so i'd already paid for this and the hundred pound box um so this is three um i'm gonna put the name up but it's the starburst dwarf spiderlings um i bought three because i had one and unfortunately when i was uh, going through my sing pots and feeding them day before yesterday I was looking for the sling and bearing in mind these are some of the tiniest slings that you will ever see they are minuscule that's one of the slings there they are literally microscopic so um I was feeding the slings trying to find this because I always like to check on and make sure that they're okay nowhere to be found I ended up dumping the whole lot of um substrate out and then used a paintbrush to go through all of the um substrate the spiderling had disappeared it it just failed to exist anymore so i don't know what the hell happened in between the two days prior that i'd seen it and then because the lid was on tight it's not escaped i went through everything i like i literally don't know what happened i don't know where it went it disappeared into thin air so to cover my bases, I bought three because I'm not going to, that I was heartbroken and I spent for a forever trying to find that tiny little thing. So I got three more slings, but check this. So a 20 pound box, five spiders. Are you kidding me? How good is that? That's crazy. So, um, Again, we'll do a separate video for this. Then I also got a mystery box from the Spider Shop, the £60 mystery box. They had, I think they had six left by the time I got there. They had one that was called Blue, no, it was just called Dubba Dee Dubba Da. So we figured it was probably like blue spiders or blue inverts of some sort. Um, they had a Lividus one which I wasn't interested in. Then they had subs and doms, which I was tempted by. And they had a couple of others as well. But I saw this one that said on the web and I figured web is spider. It's going to be mostly spiders, if not all spiders, uh, maybe true spiders. And I love true spiders. I love tarantulas. So I thought, can't go wrong with this. So if you want to see what's in here, I mean, I certainly do. I haven't looked yet. It's still sealed. Um, again, keep an eye on my videos because I'm going to do an unboxing of this as well. I will show you the two other spiders that I got. This little guy, who is a Nandu Trepepe, Brazilian blonde female, and I paid £58 for her, and she's quite big. 
like I wanted one of these because I I haven't got one I love the hairy spiders I think they're gorgeous and these are just like big brown hairy spiders I know probably a lot of people think that these are ugly but I love them they're absolutely beautiful and then I think the last thing I bought was this and this is special so this is from spa spiders and i told them i'm going to do a video on this now they were very upset about selling this little one because she's special this is an afona pelma moderatum the rio grande gold female and i paid 120 pound for her but look how beautiful she is i've got my um phone pal macalcodes up there she is my most chill docile spider that i own by far like she's so sweet um if i was going to handle any of them which i i don't but i wouldn't feel afraid to handle her at all so i don't know if this one's going to have a similar temperament doesn't matter if it does or doesn't but this is a a similar a similar species but these have like more colours on the legs, if you can see. So they have like more banding on the legs. And um, I knew I wanted, I, this was one that was on my list. I knew I wanted her and I went up, I kind of found, it was literally the only one I found in the whole show. And she happened to be female as well. I went around the whole show. I was like, oh, do I drop £120 on a spider? Like, I needed to see everything first. I went back at the end and thank God she was still there because someone had been handling her box and I was like, oh, what are they going to get her? But I thought if she'd have gone, it just wasn't meant to be. Um, So I went back there and when I bought her, the guy that owns spa spiders said that if she hadn't sold today that she, he was going to keep it and then the guy next door from tarantula rooms said that if i hadn't have bought it he wouldn't have had a chance to take it home because he'd have bought it so we was all fighting over her basically but in the end she's come home with me so and she is stunning so what i'll do is i will leave it there because this video is going to be long enough as it is when I do the rehousings of the the bigger spiders, I'll give you a proper close up then. Um, but for now, I just wanted to kind of give you a kind of overview of what I bought, so I can get these mystery boxes open, and then we can get everyone rehoused. But honest to God, if you get a chance to go to one of these shows, just do it. It was so much fun being surrounded by so many people that have the same interest as you and you've got loads of stuff to talk about it was just amazing i do apologize to anyone whose ear i chewed off because i have a tendency to do that especially when i'm nervous which of course i was but it was just so incredible to meet like-minded people that were so lovely and i i just had the best day ever yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing everything that was here um I hope seeing my face didn't scare you all off too much. Hopefully you'll stick around to watch wow. the mystery unboxings. So I will hopefully see you in the next videos. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Let me know what's your favourite thing here. Um, let me know if you went. I'd love to know if you went to the show. And if you did, wow. did you win anything on the raffle? Because that was amazing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.